hey guys so today i'm going to show you how to install init in just a few clicks no code nothing just a few clicks so for that first of all you need docker desktop and it looks something like this uh, so you can download it from anywhere just uh, go and google docker desktop and click on the first link so you'll come to this uh, website and here's the option to download you can download it for your uh, operating software then uh, after that after you install it, you will have a desktop icon like this. You can open it up and you will reach an interface like this. So what you have to do is you have to click on the search button above on the images column. Go to the search button and uh, type N8N. Then you'll see a lot of options. But the first one with the 100 million plus downloads, that, that's our uh, image. So you'll have to click pull. So after you click pull, uh, it will start pulling your image. So once it's pulled, uh, it will show like this before uh, running uh, the image you'll have to make a folder so for that you can make a folder wherever you like i've made it in my desktop called open source so here i have another open source uh, software running but uh, now we'll make a folder for n8n here just make a, a new folder n8n i'll be using this folder now after this come back to your docker desktop and start uh, running your image so here in this optional settings go and uh, give a, a container name so you can give it a name by yourself and in the host port 5678 type this in so that it runs on a local host in this host path click on this three dots here and choose your uh, folder so this was my folder i've selected it and in the container path here you can have to type form slash node slash dot n a n what this does is there is an image path in our image and you'll have to connect it with your host path so whatever you do what do you do like after installing it when you run your init and you make uh, some changes or you save something like it will be saved in your local system even if you delete this docker image you can repull your image and uh, run the same thing again so that's why we do this and if you want to set a passport for your image you can put it here uh, which i'm going to skip right now because i don't want to put any password so i'll run this image now press allow so it'll start running your image like this and after that after this process it will give you a it'll give you a url so to access this url you will have to uh, click on control on your keyboard and just click on this it will open up so as you can see we have successfully installed n8 in our local system this is completely local this is not in cloud no one else other than you in your system can access this so this is uh, this is like training wheels you can uh, do how much of a automations you can uh, practice your uh, n8n workflows here so i'm going to quickly fill this or you can just go and click get started directly so here it is this is your n8n workflow you can start from scratch or if you already have an n8n workflow in your cloud you can uh, go to your cloud and just press on the three dots download it and you can imp import that file here so this is this is it this is the whole n8 in here so so if you like this video i'll keep posting stuff like this like a lot of ai stuff uh, so you can subscribe and you know stay updated